Hi, runners and walkers. This is Allison Gilliard with Run Your Story. And I am so excited and honored to share Mr. Derek Williams and his Run Your Story. What a guy. I am a huge fan. I've been a fan for a while and <laughs> he is such an encourager. I mean, what a cheerleader. And the things that he shares in this podcast, I am blown away and just so thankful for him. We also found out that we're related because that's what we're saying. <laughs> he is phenomenal, not only as a human being, but as an athlete. And I cannot wait for you to hear his journey, how he started and, and where he is now. And just his mindset is just incredible. Guys, I hope that you take away from him that patience, as he says, is so important, not only in running, but in life but to be a cheerleader for one another. Again, I was already a fan of Mr. Derek, but now even more of a fan. And so here is Derek Williams and his runner story. Yay, thank you, Derek, for being here. <laughs> thank you for having me. I am so excited because we know of each other. Yes. And let me just say this. You are such a cheerleader. I love that about you. Yes. Well, like I told you on Facebook, I think the world needs more cheerleaders. I think. So I love that. I, you, I try to use social media the way I think it was intended to be used, mm -hmm. which is you celebrate other people's accomplishments. Absolutely. Birthdays, uh, milestones, anniversaries. Mm -hmm. So I just, even if I don't know the person personally, I still say congratulations, happy birthday. Just because who knows, that person may need to scroll down the timeline and see Aww. congratulations. They may make their day a little bit much I'm gonna better. So. I'm going to share this with you, which I've not shared with you. And that is, I think it was the last race that I did in Pensacola. And you said, congratulations. And I was like, oh, I've hit it big. Because in my mind, you're an elite athlete. Like, you are such oh a natural. Gosh. And so for you to take the time... To do that, to say congratulations, that meant the world to me. Wow. Well, so I just want to say thank you goodness. because, and I was like, he's such a great cheerleader. And then I've been watching him for all of our friends, mutual uh -huh. friends for Houston. And yes. I'm like, look at him just commenting on everybody. I love that. Because everybody is, everybody's doing their own thing. And That's it's right. just a good thing to see. Absolutely. I don't think I'm an elite athlete. Oh, I, I do. Okay. Uh, I don't care what you think, Derek. I, I, I got you. I got you. I got you. You are just amazing. Which leads to... What is your run story? It's not that elaborate. I started running during the pandemic. Okay. Because when everything shut down. Sure. And I just got out in the backyard and I love music. So okay. I do a lot of things to music. So I just put my music on and I just started running. And when I tell people this, and they're like, oh, you must have a huge backyard. No, it's a nice size, but it's not like huge. Okay. So I just kept running in circles. Get out of here. Yes. So look, you made your own track. I did. Okay. Because okay. it was funny because when we had Hurricane... Sally, one of those hurricanes, and okay. our roof had damage, and the contractors came back, oh. and they're like, oh my gosh, you have a dog. I was like, no, I don't have a dog, but because I had run so much, it looked like... Stop yeah, it! And I, have, <laughs> I have pictures of my phone where I... That is yeah, awesome! Because I would just run, it would be, and then I would look at my watch, like, well, I ran eight miles, just two and a half, three hours, just not just, a, around. just running, not... I wasn't trying to run at a certain pace, I was just yeah. running, just to run, because hey, it was something else to do besides look at the, wow. the news and stuff. Yeah, because... It's funny because I was never a runner. I was a football player in middle school and high school. Okay. And my brother to, and my sisters did cross country and track. I okay. did a Murphy. I graduated at Murphy. Oh, so you're local? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Born and raised. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Phillips wow. Preparatory Middle School and then Murphy High School. So you have somewhat of a background because you're siblings. Yes. Okay. So yeah. what was, what's been that transition like? In terms of running? It's, yeah. It's completely different than football because <laughs> football we run, but not like cross country and sure. track. So even down to the stretching and the, just the, I guess the mentality is just completely different. Football, you're going out to hit and <laughs> destroy somebody, I guess, <laughs> uh, for lack of a better word. But running, it's kind of like your own thing. So it's been um, it's been quite the transition, though. So I've enjoyed it, though. I love it. Dude, that's awesome. Do yes. your siblings still run? They do from time to time. Okay. We're actually planning on running a five at the Mercedes-Benz 5K in Birmingham in February. Because oh. I think it's the last one. Okay. From what I saw. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to do the 5K with the, uh, at least my brother and my sister. And my dad may get out there as well. Oh, that's yes. fantastic. Yeah, we should, it should be fun. So, so be fun. you started in your backyard. Yes. Okay, so then how did you transition into the running community? I met Angela, who's a member of Wake Up and Run on okay. Facebook. Mm -hmm. She was like, hey, you should start running 
there's a running group and we meet at College Hill Park at 5.30. So I just showed up. At first I was nervous because, you know, I was like, oh, I'm slow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then and that's where I met Steve and Stephanie and Erica and just everyone. And and before that, I, I started, I joined Club Four. So I okay. started running on the treadmill and I run six, seven miles. So I remember Erica saying, Derek, let me back up. Sure. Angela and I, we were planning to run my first half marathon, which was the Pensacola half last April. Okay. So my thing was, okay, I'll start in January and then we work my way up because sure. I've never run competitively. But then Erica was like, well, Jake, if you run seven miles on the treadmill, you can easily do the double bridge in <laughs> Pensacola <laughs> in February. And I was like, wait a minute, I just started in January. <laughs> and so, yeah, and that goes from there. And that was my first race and I know I'm skipping Was ahead, double but, bridge? Yes. So wow. the joke was Derek skipped 5K, 10K and started with the, <laughs> started his first race ever was the 15K. Which was fun. It was actually my favorite race. I guess because it was my first. Sure. And it was a lot of people. And yeah, it was. And it, a lot of people on the supporters as we ran down the streets and on the bridge. And it was really cold, though. Really cold. And when did, yeah. It was crazy. But it was nice and it was fun. So that's kind of how I joined it. I mean, that's how I got involved with the running community and met everyone and still meeting people. Yeah. Uh, so it's just, I say all the time on my post that. I think we have the best running community because mm. everybody's so Hands supportive. Yeah. No one's critical. Mm. It's just, and I, that's why I tell people of all paces, that's right. uh, body types, it doesn't matter. Mm. I mean, you have some people who are really fast. You have some people, it's just, as long as you're moving, as Steve, I think Steve mm. likes to say that, as long as you're moving and, and get your heart rate going, I enjoy it. And everybody, the friendship is just great. So. That's right. Absolutely. Yes. Dude, yeah. what a story. Yeah, thank Went you. from backyard to... <laughs> to, to, to Double Bridge. <laughs> yes. Yeah. In the span of a couple of months. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah. That's, and, it was fun. And I'm telling you, and I can vouch because I've seen your paces. And I love when you and Sarah Nell will post, hey, Sarah Nell, and I'm like, nobody's going to meet you guys <laughs> because you're on the elite level. Like, I, why? I love Sarah Nell because... <laughs> It seems like our paces are together, and I can, yeah. because James, Julius, I put them, uh, John, I put them fast. Keith, they're the fast group. I can't keep up. And then there's some people, and I'm not going to say their names, but, you know, some are a little slower than my pace. Mm -hmm. Sarah Nell, and, and I think we run well together because our, we, I can keep my same pace. Mm -hmm. And she keeps me going if I want to stop. Like, we did 10-mile run two weeks ago. Oh, she's a bully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Derek, you got this. But she's such a nice bully, though. I she's, yes, yeah, yes. okay. She's, nice that. she's very encouraging bully. She's, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I love her. And of course, I know her dad as well. So, uh, yeah. That's and awesome. And her sister. I actually went to, graduated with her sister. Oh, that's Murphy. awesome. Yeah, oh, Italy. so you've come like full circle. Yes, like, I have, yes. How it was funny because the first time we ran together, she was like, she started talking about her dad, and she was like, wait a minute, your dad is, oh, and I put two and two together. It was just, it was Oh, it was how cool is that? Yes. Oh, man. And her, and her sister and everything. It's just a great family. Absolutely, so, yes. yeah. So what have been some lessons that you've learned from running? Patience, Ooh. I think is a big one because mm. it's easy to, you want to get out and just go mm. conquer the world sure. or, and go run a, a two-hour marathon. And it's a... <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're just ultra elite, it doesn't happen that way. So you that's gotta right. work your way up. I think that's a life lesson as well. You've gotta take your time and just follow your program, follow your training, and keep working at it. And you just get better. Hopefully, every race or every time you run, you improve from your previous. Even mm -hmm. though I haven't done that all my you know, time, but you know it's okay. Houston was a little slow, but it's okay. Dude, that's awesome. That is a great lesson learned. Yeah, I love I, that. Yeah, I just it's just. Because it's, it's mind over matter, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's all mental. Because your right. mind is telling you, oh, Derek, you're tired. Oh, you need mm -hmm. to rest. Oh, you need to stop. Mm -hmm. You need to. Mm -hmm. But no, it's just, and then you just keep going. It's actually, it's just, it's very neat. Like, just the internal battle going on in your mm -hmm. mind. I'm mm -hmm. At least when I'm running. Oh, absolutely. So. Oh, hands down. So, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, you mentioned Double Bridge is your favorite race. Yes. So, are you planning to run that again? Yes, okay. I will be there in two weeks. Oh, same. I think it's two weeks. Oh, yeah, you run? Okay. Okay, yeah. well, okay, we're not running together. Uh, you'll be like up front and I'll be like, yes, Derek, yeah, yeah. you go, buddy. No. It's great seeing the back of you. Yeah. Yes. No, I love it. It's fun. I just hope the weather, like last year, I can deal with cold, but I think it was the wind. Oh, it's the brutal. The wind was hard. Yeah. 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 But, but yeah, I have a 5K next week in Miami. And then I'm doing a double bridge in two weeks. Do, so, you just said Miami? Yes. Okay. Because, actually, because my wife is from Miami. Okay. And I've been running so much, she, so I've got my niece, and it's going to be her first 5K. Aww. So I was like, I'll run the 5K. I mean, I'm not going to run with you, but I'll, I'm going to be <laughs> I'm going to run in the race, the same race, and we'll meet at the finish line. Because Uncle Derek so, is peace out, Girl yeah. Scout. I'm I mean, going. I'm trying to set a PR. I get, get try, but um, we'll see. I mean, it's only my second 5K. My first 5K was the turkey trot. So I'm trying oh, to. This, oh, wow. This past, this yeah. Past, wow. Yeah, that was my okay. first, yeah. 
So that's hilarious. I love that. Yeah, yeah. And then lately, I'm just thinking we can travel two birds with one stone. Absolutely. So I can yeah. find a race like Houston and then Miami. Of course, we've been to Miami before, but anyway. And then hopefully go to Nashville and a couple other places in the it, future. Isn't that funny? As a runner, you start to go, when you hear that you have to go do something and go somewhere, you're like, I wonder if there's a race. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My brother-in-law, like, he's getting married in February uh -huh. in DeLonga, Georgia. And I was uh -huh. like... Is there a race in Atlanta? <laughs> there is a race oh, in Atlanta is. that wow. morning. And yeah. so I told my future sister-in-law, I was like, we'll be there. We're just, just getting up early. Yeah, exactly. We just got to take care of something real quick and then we'll be there. So I love that. Yeah, and you're like, funny. you know what? Miami, let's go run. Because exactly. you've not ran in Miami. I have not. Right? Have wow. Not. And it's going to be in South Beach. So it should be fun. Oh, absolutely. Now, I know the weather may, be, may not be used to that because, you know, they don't get cold down But here. talk about some scenery. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm hopefully, hopefully that would motivate me to a <laughs> PR. So we'll see. <laughs> Or it could be the opposite. I could just be sightseeing as well. <laughs> Let me take a picture of this flamingo. Let me take this. Oh, man. 45 minutes. Wow. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, That's we'll awesome. see. Yes. That's fantastic. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So, Derek, do you have a pre-race routine that you do? I do not. Okay. And this is part of where I'm still learning. And that's why I like to run with different people and run different races. Sure. Because different things work for different people. Mm -hmm. Because usually, like, I work out at Club 4. And I can, do, I can easily do a two-and-a-half, three-hour workout without eating anything. So I try to translate that to running, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And sure. So one, mm -hmm. like the, the 10 miler in Crayola back in November, I, I ate, I was told, yeah, eat eggs and peanut butter, that'll help you. But then, no, that was a good time. But usually I just do a banana and some energy chews, and that's it, and some mm -hmm. water. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. So I don't want to say a ritual. I just try to stay sure. calm and look, it's just a race, just run. Don't worry about your pace and what you're going to put on Facebook and, <laughs> and, and, and what people are going to say, oh, he's slow. Just run. Just no one's going to say you're slow, Derek. Exactly. No, no, no one at well, all. I'm probably my worst critic. But, uh, yeah, just run. And so that's basically what I try to tell myself. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Do you have a post-race routine? I do not. I'm happy that I'm finished. No. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Take pictures. I try to stretch because I know it's good to stretch, but forget. But I know to prevent injury, I try to stretch. And then look for the nearest Waffle House. Oh, or, really? Or I, I love, yeah, I love waffles and pancakes. That's like my, Get out of that's here. like my post-race treat. Oh, yes. I love that. Yes. Okay. Because it's like, I've earned it. So sometimes during the race, I'm like, oh, what kind of top is that we're going to get? Like, Stop it. Are you serious? I, I'm not going to go crazy, though, because I'm not going to... Negate what you yeah, just said. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. some people are like, oh, there you can eat whatever you want because you mm -hmm. run. I'm like, I don't believe in that. Right, but, right. Uh, absolutely. But yeah, I'll eat some. Yeah, I love okay. waffles. So what is your favorite topping then so far? <laughs> I put a little chocolate, just a couple chocolate chips, <laughs> just a little. But it adds so much flavor. I'm sure. So, yeah. Oh, that's so, awesome. I have this recipe where I use protein powder mm -hmm. and mix, put it in the mix as well. To okay. Keep, so I can still get the protein and the nutrients and I'm not just picking out. Sure. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, but that's chocolate chips is right now is the... Uh, I like that. Top You're like, the... Iron, that's my topic. Oh, yeah. I, like, I just that. ran 13 miles. It's not going to hurt me. But, I mean, I'm not going to go overboard. But, uh, right, yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah. Balance. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely, yes. What has been your favorite running item so far? I love hats. Hmm. Okay. I try not to mess this up when I'm running. So, uh, And just like I am in my professional life, I feel like when you dress the part, you look the part, you feel Ooh, the part. So I feel, I don't okay. put, I try not to put too much emphasis on my attire, but I like to coordinate and look nice. Cause okay. then if I, if I feel like I look my best, then I feel like I would do cool. more. I'm gonna so, adopt so, that yeah. and I'm gonna try that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, it works. And I like hats, as long as they stay on. Like Houston, even though it was advertised, it doesn't blow off. It blew off several times. No, yeah, seriously. It. Yeah, but the people were nice behind me. They'll pick, pick it, up. it up. So you didn't have to go back and get it. Yeah, exactly, gotcha. yeah, wow. so it was nice. But yeah, hats is probably my favorite. And I love my shades too, the, mm. the, the ones that don't move or don't, yeah. Gotcha. That's awesome. Yes. What are your favorite running shoes now? I'm probably biased because I started off with Brooks okay. Ghost yeah. and I haven't <laughs> tried anything else because That's, I'm okay. like, if it works. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. Brooke, yeah I got to have my Brooks Ghost editions. I have the 14s. I haven't tried the 15s yet. I may try them for Miami, but okay. I'll see. Or I may just stick to what works, which mm -hmm. is the 14s. That's awesome. Yes. Very cool. Yes. So you talked a little about energy fuel like fueling so during the race do you fuel at all i do not i do okay. a couple of chews like i put them in my pocket okay. or my little yeah, yeah. um i guess <laughs> i don't know if you call it fanny pack, <laughs> fanny pack or not but uh, <laughs> yeah i tried during the double bridge i think erica or stephanie the little gel but then i didn't like it because it made my mouth dry okay and i know and like i said different things work for different people Sure. because sometimes i don't even stop for water even mm -hmm. though lately i have but sometimes i just keep going because sure. i feel like that's Again, I'm still learning, so sure, sometimes I sure. feel like 
that's a weakness to drink water. Not, it's not, but it's not a weakness because you, your body needs it. Right, but, right. Or the Gatorade. Yeah, for still learning. But for the most part, yeah, just I'll pop a couple of tubes and just keep going. Is there a certain uh, brand that you like? I think it's, right now I have Cliffs. Okay. Cliffs. Yeah, I yeah, think, okay. Yeah. I ordered like this big pack of Gotcha. Okay. On Amazon. Right now, that's what works. But who knows what may happen in the future as I continue to run and continue oh, to absolutely. grow I, and evolve. And I think that's one of the cool things about running, too, is that there's always something new coming out. Exactly. And, and as you said, like somebody else has tried something, and then they're like, hey, try this. And as I say like in every podcast, like the thing I love about the running community is that we keep no secrets. Exactly. So we're like, hey, have you tried this out? Or have you seen this? Yeah. And I love the text that I get from people. They're like, or when they post and they're like, hey, I just tried out this new thing. Exactly. And I'm like, let me go research yeah. that. You yes, know, so I'm yes. like, what is this? Yeah. Like so, when you had Sarah Nell on your show and she mentioned her choose, the choose that she eats. Oh yeah, I bought those. And yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. I text her and I say, what choose? Is I haven't had a chance to order them yet, mm -hmm. but because I have this big pack already, but. I'm going to try those as well. And they also have a recovery one. Oh, they do? Yes, which has turmeric in it. Now, huh. it's a little weird taste because obviously it's turmeric. Yeah, yeah. You can't get over a turmeric taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's been good. Really? Like, I really enjoy it. I'm going to have to try that. I'm telling you. But I would have never known had she not. Like, one day exactly. we were out running and she was like, oh, yeah, try this. And yeah. I was like... Not bad. Like, yeah. I really like that. Uh -huh. So Yeah, see, that's why. Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, I, I love how yeah. share. We, we overshare. Yeah, and I we love do, that. Yeah, but that's a good thing because it helps <laughs> you find out what works for you and what works for Absolutely. Does, so. Experimentation. Yeah. And I think as people are always researching and things are changing with runners. Exactly. And as you said, I mean, just with the shoes in general. Oh, yeah. Like, the different PRs that have been made with elite runners. Yes. And then... All this technology that comes out to help runners, you're just like, this is so cool. And I tell people that all the time. I'm like, some people think you just get out there and run, which it, you do, but sure. it's such a science to it. Like sure. how you land, how your shoulders mm. are supposed to be. I think I learned the other day how many miles you're supposed to put on a pair of shoes before you get a new right. pair. It's, it's, so it's just so much into it that mm -hmm. it's, it's really neat. I love it. Absolutely. Every day I'm learning something That's right. New. Like, Absolutely. Like, yes. Wow. So it's fun. <laughs> Very fun. Do, do you have a favorite running memory so far? It's probably going to be Double Bridge. Okay. Because it was... So many people, and it was just the excitement, and it was like, wow. I don't like, I don't know if I should say this, but one of my biggest fears of running are dogs. Okay, hey, <laughs> yes. A to the man. Yes, so the, what was funny about the Double Bridge was like, wow, I can run and run as fast as I want and not worry about <laughs> a dog. Don't come in. Even though there are dogs out there, but yeah, there's such yeah, a big yeah. group of people that mm -hmm. hopefully he or she won't pick on me, <laughs> as opposed to running in some neighborhood. Mm -hmm, yeah. But no, it was just double bridge. It was just fun. And I mean, I forgot to stop my watch and everybody was saying, oh, rookie mistake. It was just, <laughs> yeah, it was funny. And then the after party, the red beans and rice. And mm. I don't do the beer and any of that. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I give my tickets away, which makes me popular. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I would say Houston this past weekend was probably the most energetic, just supportive. Like every block, mm. it was people like just Wow. people supporting you and yeah. the neat thing what I tell people is that our names were printed out on our bibs okay. so you have people saying come on Dare, you can do it and they don't know who oh. I am but just that added encouragement do this you're, you're, like, always... you're like we're Sarah now yeah. where's that boy exactly exactly <laughs> so yeah so I would say that's my favorite running member I just love the encouragement absolutely it's, it's hard when it's not a lot of support that's when it goes back to okay your mind mm -hmm. and your mind's mm -hmm. playing the tricks on you yeah absolutely yes. wow so you mentioned music. Yes, I know this question. <laughs> what is Derek's running jams? Derek's running jams is very diverse. I love Jay-Z, so I have a lot of hip-hop. I like Taylor Swift. Because, <laughs> 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 you know, some... some I love that. Because <laughs> depending on which race I'm running, if it's a 5K, it's different because it's... You're trying to get it. Exactly. You're, you're so speeding. Strictly yeah. hip-hop, yeah. Okay. But <laughs> marathon, they go, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not going to run, at least me, I'm not going to be running a 655 mile all 13. I, mean, I wish I could, but I probably won't. So there's some periods of the race where I kind of want to, I don't know, kind of scale back a little bit. Okay. So sometimes the music changes. So yeah, mm. I listen to some Taylor Swift and some Britney Spears, some Chicago. You, you're going to um, get so much from the running community I'm, I'm sure I am. when this I'm comes sure, out. I'm sure I am. <laughs> Taylor, I got Chicago. I got Journey. Wow. That type of stuff. I have, okay. In middle school, I had an alternative phase. So Nirvana and Food Fighters, Real Hot Chili Peppers. Wow. Yeah, so it just covers the spectrum. Absolutely. And gospel. I mean, my first half marathon in Pensacola was, it was on a Sunday, so I was like, I got to listen to gospel music. Oh, so, that's yeah. awesome. It was, yeah, it was nice. Wow. Because God, of course, I, I'm, I consider myself a religious person, so I feel like God is with you every step of the way. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, because I just got this book over Christmas called Running Running in Faith. It's like a devotion for runners. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's 52 weeks, and it's like scriptures, and it's really good. Yeah. I just started it, but... Uh, 
Yeah, it, it equates running with your journey in life with God. Oh, so, yeah. It's really good. So, I, I yeah. say one of the best things about running is on a spiritual level, just to be able to get out there on the pavement. There's no distractions. Exactly. It's just you and God. Exactly. And like some of my hardest, most difficult moments in life have been hitting the pavement. But I also say those are healing tears. Exactly. And yes. healing miles. Exactly. You, know, you get yes. done and you're like, I've literally left it on the pavement. Yes. And I can't go back and get it. Yeah, exactly. So, it's done. It's done. <laughs> so, so I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. Very I, cool. I love it. I love it. So. I also love how if somebody <laughs> listens to your music, they're going to be like, I have no idea who this person is. <laughs> yeah, that's another. And see, I've always been that way. Like people that's awesome. always try to keep people on their toes because you don't know. You can't judge a book by its cover. Oh, so, 100%. I mean, yeah. even with this, even though it's just hair, but some people see my hairstyle and they think, but hey, I'm a judge, attorney, a runner, but you wouldn't, you know, if you let your first impression mm. shape your your loss absolutely yes. yeah yes. wow they're missing out on a fantastic cheerleader in their <laughs> life who has excellent music <laughs> yes yes that's my playlist yeah it's crazy Four thousand songs just all over the place so. wow a little that's motown awesome. that's just everything a little bit everything because every, my mood change fluctuates oh absolutely yeah. so you'd already <laughs> told me you're like i don't have a favorite recovery tool i don't <laughs> i mean I just try to relax. I don't know if that's considered a tool. Sure. Uh, the couch. <laughs> I don't know if that's. <laughs> I don't know if that's considered a tool or not. But yeah, it's nice to. I'm hey. gonna start calling my couch that. Yeah, now. I mean it's just. It's, it's my nice. recovery tool. It's nice. Put on some Netflix and you know, just relax. Like hey, I did 13 miles. Or I did 10 miles. I don't have to do anything else today. That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm nicknaming my couch now. Exactly. I don't have to clean I the garage that. today. I don't have to cut the grass today. I did. I did. How do you I'm going to my recovery tool. Exactly. Exactly. Hi. Derek, that's hilarious. Yeah, I try. <laughs> I'm just keeping it, keeping it, keep, keeping it real as a young people say. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> so, you mentioned Club Four. Yes. So I'm assuming you do a lot of cross training there. I do. Okay. So what has been one of your favorite cross training activities? Let me take that back. I don't. Sure. I'm still learning, so I don't have a. I just lift. Like, oh, it's just bench. strength training. Yeah, strength yeah, okay. training. Yeah, yeah. Um, I try to do the elliptical. I don't really okay. like it. The row machine, but I like running, so I just do the treadmill, and then I just lift. And I don't really go to the gym. When I, I guess, strength or cross train, I'm still running, though. I don't go sure. to the gym straight to the weights. I feel, if it's my easy day or I'm just focusing on strength training, I may just do one or two miles on treadmill. Okay. Just to get my heart. Yeah, blood flowing. Yes, and Yeah, exactly. yeah warmed up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so then, yeah, just strength training. So dumbbells, the kettlebells, just... Yeah, any machine that's going to deal with... Try to work on my legs, of course, strength, the leg machines and stuff like so that. So were you strength training before, like prior to yes. running? Yeah, okay. and I okay. Probably, that's probably what I, um, one of the things I take from football, playing football. Mm -hmm. Still used when we used to weight train and play football. I still remember the coaches and our regiments that we used to do. Mm -hmm. So I still follow those. Okay. Even back 20 years later. Oh, that's um, fantastic. Yeah, okay. it kind of stuck with me. Yeah. yeah. Dude, yes. that's incredible. Yeah. I'm a huge believer in strength training for runners. Oh, yeah. Like, it's yeah. amazing. Oh, that's awesome. And someone told me that, Derek, you really are fast because you have a lot of muscle. If you take away that muscle, you probably would be faster. But the muscle helps you, <clears throat> depending on what kind of race you're running. A lot of runners don't do it. And I read all kinds of magazines and right. articles about it that sure. helpful. You just got to you gotta do it. And you got to do the right exercises as well. And it's also for the longevity exactly. of the yeah. sport that you want. Yes. And so it's with football, they retire early, like they can't play for the rest of your life, but we can run for the rest of our lives. That's true. Yeah. And so with strength training, it's like, hey, as long as I'm doing this, I'm building for the future as well. It's so great. for you to be able to go out and just, hey, I'm going to go to Miami and go run. That's incredible. Yeah. What? That's I, just amazing. I, 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 God has a way of putting people in your lives or putting mm -hmm. things in your life that you don't never expect. That's, and it just oh, changes the course of your life. So 100%. Me joining the running group and then <laughs> meeting Erica and Steve and, <laughs> and everybody. I know I'm, in, I'm not no, trying to. No, you're fine. I know it's a lot of names, but those were the one of the first people I met. And just the encouragement. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. do this. You can mm -hmm. do this. And then he's like, wait a minute, maybe I can do this. And then Double Bridge turns into the half marathon of Pensacola, mm. turns into the Zary Trail Run, turns into the Huntsville Rock and Roll Huntsville half in December, mm. and then yeah. Houston. Wow. Yes. It sounds like we're on the same level as far as the only time we'd be on the same level. <laughs> that, that. Is that we equate running with running community. Yes. Like they go hand in hand. Oh, yes, because it, it's just a large group of people that, I don't know. Just encouraging, yeah. just supportive, the mm -hmm. love, just the, mm -hmm. every, it, I don't know, it's just, it's a certain feeling that I get when Absolutely. I'm around them and it's just, mm -hmm. want to be around them and like Houston was so much fun because it was like 40 of us or 30 wow. of them. and yeah. it was just being there with other people and just mm -hmm. knowing that they're doing the same journey or going the same mm -hmm. journey with you, it's just, 
Yeah, it was just real. It's just fun. It's just a yeah. special. It's a special group of people. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But the other thing is that it's so inclusive, and anybody can join it. That's right. So that's why I tell people who mm-hmm. don't run. I'm like, yeah, just come out with us. Cut a chill. Five thirty. Like it doesn't matter how fast, slow you think you that's are. Right. It's just. You just get out there, then you form friendship on mm-hmm. Absolutely. Oh, and, and hopefully yeah. have lifelong friends. So That's right. I like to say I think I have, so yeah. met some. Dude. Yes. What has been your worst race and why? We talked about it a little <laughs> bit. The Bayou half, and not in terms of the race and the organizers, because they, they, everyone's great, mm-hmm. but it was the elements and mm-hmm. the environment. It started off... I can't remember. It was like Mother Nature through everything. Oh, it was. Yeah. It rained at one point. <laughs> it was a little cool at one point. It was windy at one point. It was sunny at one point. It was humid. It was just everything mm-hmm. thrown over the course of 13 miles. And I love seafood. I love fish <laughs> and shrimp. But smelling the, um, how do you put it? The or, I guess the origins? Or just <laughs> how it smells. <laughs> Wasn't the best <laughs> smell to, to experience while you're running. <laughs> <laughs> and dealing with the weather. So that was probably my worst. And it was my slowest half. Even though I've only run four halves, but it was my only slowest. Only four. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> people, some people here have run a lot, but I've only done four. Even though my time in Houston was slower than the Bayou, but the environment in Houston was much mm. more electric and just mm. music everywhere. And sure. every, just And Huntsville was fun too, but yeah. So I would say that's probably my worst race. Gotcha. And hopefully I won't have any more like that. <laughs> Hopefully. With the combined elements and exactly. the smell. Of- and the smell. And then just the, <laughs> yeah, it was just, yeah, it was bad. So you mentioned that you've talked to people and trying to say, hey, like you should come hang out with us and come run with us. So what is some advice that you would give to somebody that's listening? That's, you know what, Derek sounds really cool. Sounds really encouraging. What <laughs> advice, funny. where should I start? What should I do? What would you give that person that wants to start? Hopefully I won't be sued by Nike. But just do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, like I said, when I started in my backyard, I didn't have a, a, I didn't think that two years later I'd be running a half marathon and hopefully doing my first full marathon this mm-hmm. fall. Wow. It's just, I just put on my shoes and just, I just did it and it just started running. So I was just, it's probably the only sport, and I think I read that somewhere, it's probably the only sport, one of the few sports where you don't need, I hate to say it, you don't need special training, I guess, mm-hmm. even though it is, you do need training, but sure. You don't need a special equipment or membership mm-hmm. or you don't have to get this tennis racket or this or these cleats or this get a nice pair of running shoes and mm-hmm. put on your shoes and run. And even if it's 30 minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, and it, hopefully if you love it, you evolve. It is. You evolve with it and grow mm-hmm. with it. And then you sit here on the podcast with you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I didn't think when I was running my backyard, oh yeah, I'm going to be on a podcast with you <laughs> talking about running. Because after my first half, I was like... Afterwards, I was like, I just ran 13 miles. Mm. It's, it's really it's really crazy to think about. Absolutely. Because when I'm yeah. driving on the interstate and I see the signs, <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. So I ran from, that's crazy. <laughs> that's when you put it in that perspective, it's, it's really it's really crazy. So I can only absolutely. imagine how I'm going to feel once I do 26. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that's really crazy. Really so your next goal is a marathon. Yes. Which is going to be where? I'm not sure yet. Okay, I really okay. want to run. It's a it's the Marines. I think it's in October in Virginia. Okay, the Marine Corps. Yes. Okay. But it's a lottery. I think it opens March first. Okay. I put my name in and see what happens. If um, not, I know Stephanie's been talking about a marathon in Philly in November before Thanksgiving. She okay. said that's really good. Or I may do St. Jude's in December in Memphis. Kind of wanted my first mm-hmm, marathon to mm-hmm. be. A, have a purposeful meaning behind sure, it. So sure. St. Jude's or the Marines or Marine mm-hmm. Corps. So mm-hmm. that's my goal. So it'll, it'll be October, November, or December. I just gotcha. don't know which one yet. So gotcha. hopefully after March 1st. <laughs> yeah, You'll know. know. Oh, know. wow. Know. That's incredible. Yes. Wow. And I would love to go to Houston, go back to Houston next year too. Okay. But it just depends. I don't know, you know, what the, if you run the marathon in November, should you run another one? In, you know, I guess, again, it goes back to learning and running with different people. Right? There's some people that do back to back. Yeah, that's you know? true. So- which is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, because I know some people who, after a half marathon, like, the first day or two, I'm like, okay, I'm good on running. My legs are sore and sure, everything. Sure. But I know some people are back out there, so it's just, like I said, different strokes for different folks. Absolutely. So, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. So that's my goal, and to get faster in my half marathons to get mm. that down. I really want to do 145, but we'll see. And then my 5K, I want to get 21. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. Those are just wow. good numbers. I, I like odd numbers. <laughs> Even though I was born on an even day, I like, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that. Do you have a mantra that, like, when things are getting tough, that you're, like, something that you say to yourself? Not really. I okay. just try to tell myself just to keep going. Mm. You work so hard. You didn't come this far just to quit or just Ooh. to not finish yeah, or stop. Yeah, so yeah. it's not really a mantra. It's just something okay. I tell myself when, like you said, when it's 
you're looking at those signs that says mile six. You're like, what? I thought I was on mile nine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, he's like, here, just keep going one mile at a time. I'm a big Pinterest fan, I guess, in addition to Taylor Swift. I'm on Pinterest a lot. So I saw a saying on that, too, that said, go the extra mile. It's never crowded. And oh. I love that because I was like, most people don't want to go that extra. Give it an extra. Mm. I try to adopt that in my in all areas of my life, but especially Sure, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I love how you said about one more mile. So here's a race that you should do. It's Miss Beagle. So we did the half. Okay. It was December. It was the same weekend as, you, uh, as Huntsville. Huntsville, okay, yeah, yeah. And mile 12, you're like you, it's flat. So 11 and a half miles, you start going up this ramp, and you're like, oh, wow, I conquered this ramp. So you're like, good. Yeah. But then it keeps going. Oh. And then there's this turnaround point where the marathoners keep going, but then like you turn around, and yeah. literally like, it's like a steep, like, you're literally, can I just roll down that? Like, I don't want to run anymore. Like, yeah. I'm done. Wow. That is the longest mile. Interesting. And literally, the girl I was running with, she's can you check her watch and make sure we're not more than mile <laughs> yeah, 12? Yeah, exactly. That's funny. <laughs> That's like, funny. She's, aren't we there yet? I was like, this feels horrible. Yes, like, yes. <laughs> That's funny. I may have to do that. Well, I just throw that one in there. I got it's you. a great race. Gotcha. The swag is fantastic. Yeah. But you're going, oh my goodness. I've never, and you run a mile and you're like, well, I've done a mile. Yeah, exactly. But at mile, at that one, you're like, where is mile 13? Yes. Like, where <laughs> Where's is that flag? At? Where's that finish line? <laughs> yes. That's funny because last time, I hate to keep saying Sarah's name, but last time we ran, Sarah Neal, and we was like, oh, okay, we only have 0.5 to go. And I was like, I think we've got this. <laughs> Because my wife, I didn't turn my watch off, but I know. But you know, you just get that feeling like that's right. It's time to finish. It's like, where's the finish line? Where is it? I don't want to walk. You can't walk on the finish line. You got to run. Anyway, that's and I all have trust issues with her. Yeah. So I totally understand where you're like. Are you sure? <laughs> I love you, Sarah. Now, this is not. I'm not trying to kiss you. No. That's funny. That's funny. So you've done the different distances yes and, you know and you're preparing a full is there a certain distance that you just you really like to run and it doesn't have to be a race link like you can be yeah eight. i like five okay five six mm -hmm. i guess six would be a 10k um i think yeah i'm still trying to get all those <laughs> <laughs> math was never my strongest point but uh, yeah i think that's five I think. okay four or five is good because it's not too long but it's not too short it's like a, mm. you feel good oh i did five miles today yeah but again, it also depends on how I'm feeling because some days I prefer 10 or 13 mm. or one time when I was training with Erica, as they were training for Chicago Marathon, I was just running with them. So we did 18. So, you know, you feel good. Oh, I did 18 miles today. It's just fun. like people are like, oh, what are you doing this weekend? I'm not thinking I'm going to run 18 miles. Oh, it doesn't sound fun. I'm like, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Saturday mornings. There's no, no better way to experience That's Saturday right. Morning. Saturday morning cartoons and then run 18 miles. Perfect. Oh, I feel like we were separated at birth. <laughs> we may have been. We that's exactly have. how I'm like, dude, this sounds amazing. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> you just you feel a sense of accomplishment. Absolutely. You know, like I did, you know, how many people go out and run 18 miles? Just for fun. <laughs> just and a lot fun. of times we pay to do this. Yeah. These races. So yes. we pay for this. Exactly. So. Yes. Because yes. it hurts when you have to cancel and it's done. And, that's right. Yeah. Because yeah. I was supposed to do a trail run in October in Huntsville. Oh, Because, okay. you know, I'm part of the, the, the trail. Yeah. That's we, right. Yeah. 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 But I, my hamstring was, and I, my hamstring was very mm. sore. Like, I, it won't, I don't want to risk it. Sure, yeah. Serious injury, so I hate it. It, it hurt. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yes, but it's me. So, Derek, when you're not running, where can we find Derek? On my couch. <laughs> on the recovery <laughs> yeah, tool. Yeah, on the recovery tool. <laughs> recovering for the next race. You know, at the gym, even when I'm not training, you know, I still like to work out. I love sports, of course. I love football, so that's what I'm doing this weekend, watching NFL. Okay. I love college football. I love all sports, actually. Yeah, that's where you can find me, maybe. Maybe in public. I love to cook. I learned Do that. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. During the pandemic, I started cooking my own stuff, so I cut out, com when I can, co completely cut out fast food. Sure. Yeah. So wow. I just cook. So I learned, I like new recipes, trying new things, stuff like that, so. What's been your favorite thing to cook so far? <sighs> My favorite thing to cook. I gotta think about this. <laughs> he said this was not on the question. It wasn't. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> it wasn't prepared. My favorite. I mean, I made my own pizza. With what? The, making my own crust. That was good. Oh, I'm a huge pizza. I love pizza. Yeah, pizza's yeah. good. Even though I had to cut it. I mean, I had to cut out the bad pizza. True. I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Zucchini bread. I made a bunch of pictures in there. So this means party at Derek's house where Derek is catering. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know because I think James likes to grill. I think <laughs> I think he does those ribs. So maybe we can collaborate. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. And so then you can bring the pizza. <laughs> it will not be handmade. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, <laughs> what you like, Papa John's? Yes, wherever. I used to love Papa John's, actually. <laughs> yeah. And the commercials still were enticing, but I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> right. I can't. Because I just feel, that goes back to different things for different, because mm -hmm. I remember, I, I hate to keep saying people's names, but. You know, some people are like, oh, we eat a, a, piece, a large piece of the night before a race. You know, the carb. Sure. But, yeah. but then I would feel sluggish to sure. me. My thing is but the night before is ta I love tacos. Ooh, so, okay. Because it's like. It, you're still getting, you're it, getting everything. And exactly. carbs and veggies. It, exactly. And, and the protein. And the protein, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I, And you can have, you don't have to get the cheese and the guacamole yeah, and yeah. all the bad stuff. But, yeah. So. Is there a favorite taco? A taco place that you like? Taco Mama. Uh, yeah, I'm yes. telling you, separated yes. at yeah. birth right yes. here. I mean, it's just. <laughs> Yeah, and I get the grilled flour. I think it's the, I think it's called the, someone with the fish on it. I think it's called. Oh, the fish tacos. Yeah. There's like something but justice in mm, it, I think. Those are so good. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. And I don't, and it's not too heavy. I that's just feel, right. you yeah. know, feel mm -hmm. good. And I'm, but I'm content. I'm satisfied. I'm yeah. full with it. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. That's yes. great. I think we are separated. We yeah. are separated. Right? <laughs> Let me call my mom. And see, what <laughs> see what's going on. <laughs> Derek, do you have any final words of wisdom? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it sounds bad if I say I don't. <laughs> I would just say everyone's different. Like you told me when we walked in, you can't compare yourself to, I mean, you can compare yourself in terms of, I guess, trying to set goals for yourself. Sure. But at the end of the day, it's you. Your goal mm -hmm. should be what you can do and what you can achieve. So I would just say be yourself. I try not to, I'm not going to go out there and try to act like I'm a Olympic marathon runner. You should though. Yeah, I should. You should. I because should. you are. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Because I looked at the video of how my running form is all, uh, anyway, I got a lot to work on. Yeah, it's, I think we're all a work in progress. That's right, And that can, you can say that in, mm -hmm. in life, in terms of running and in terms of life. God is still molding us and, mm. yeah, so, yeah, I think that's it. I love it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Eric, for thank, being here. Thank you. Hopefully it was entertaining. It was um, great. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Thank Absolutely. you for the opportunity, so. Told you guys, you would love Derek Williams. Not only is he a runner, but a judge, an attorney, a husband, a football fan. He is incredible. And he just goes to show that literally you just have to get started. You just have to go. And how about Taylor Swift and Pinterest? I feel like we should make a shirt for him and he should have to wear that the next race. I'm just saying, Troll Yeah Group, that, that's all I'm throwing out there. <laughs> I cannot thank Derek Williams enough for all that he brings to the running community and for him not only being such an advocate for running, but such an encourager. If you get an encouraging note from him, it means the world. And so I am truly thankful for him and not only his friendship, but also what he brings to the running community. And so, so, so grateful. And what a runner story. And cannot wait to cheer him on for his next marathon. That's gonna be awesome, guys. Like, so excited. And just, again, just so grateful. So very grateful to Derek. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, as always, huge shout out to Gilliard Tech Services for all they do for editing to building a website. So if you need a new website or wanting to start one up, Gilliard Tech Services is the way to go. You can find them at gilliardts.com. And also, Mars Hill, thank you for providing a safe place for us to be able to host this podcast and to make our dreams become a reality. And so we are very, very grateful. And as always, guys, go out there and run your story. Your story matters. And comparison is, is not the name of the game. It is run your story at your pace and watch the magic happen. So truly grateful. And again, I love sitting down with Derek and all that he had to speak about. What a cool guy. So thank you for all you guys do for supporting Run Your Story. We're also on Patreon, so you guys can find us there. $5 a month. You can skip a cup of coffee. You're welcome for the Run Your Story podcast. So you can give there at Patreon. Also, you can go to our website, which is runyourstory.com. Check out what all is going on there. And... As always, Derek's story becomes a part of our story. And so when you hit the pavement, take Derek's story out there with you. So guys, go out there and run your story because every story needs to be heard. <laughs>